All right. Hello, everybody. I think we're good. I think we're good. Uh, I tried to open up stream elements, and my PC was like, nah. Nah, we can't have stream elements open and the stream at the same time. What are you, crazy? All right. That's fine. Um, I'm very excited to get back into Spirit Fair. Oh, my God. Um, loved this the first day I played it. Oh, my gosh. I think... My camera might be dying also. I'm having all kinds of tech issues today. This this webcam that I stream with is probably like 10 years old. I got it, well, actually, actually, it's way older than that. Um, I couldn't even tell you. It's a very old webcam. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, it still works and that's good enough for me. Uh, let's get the game loaded back up here. Only 5% completion. I'm actually really glad to see that because I was worried this game would be too short. So, without further ado, let's get it. Let's get it going. I do have a funny internet story. Pyro! Pyro, thank you so much for that resub. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry I haven't caught very many of your streams recently. I haven't been on Twitch all that much. I, like, was traveling a little bit. When I say traveling, I went up to New Hampshire and stayed at a family, family place. But uh, I was away for, like, a week. And then we, we've we had a lot of stuff going on on Twitch. There was the, the uh, Be Better Twitch Day, so I wasn't online. Lots of stuff going on. Good to see you again. Yeah, it's good to see you, too. I'm always lurking. Like, every now- like, uh, sometimes I stop and say hi and then I, I lurk for a while, uh, and I just don't chat much, because I'm doing other stuff at the same time, but... How have you been? I have to remember all the controls for this. Oh, I gotta hold it. Heck yeah. I do have a funny, uh, internet story. So the last, like, three weeks or so, my internet has been, like, really crappy. Like, I was going to stream last night. No items available. Fine. Uh, OT, I think, PT? PT for your hand? Slow process, but it's going well. I'm glad it's going well. PT is, like, such a drag. Like, it's, it's rough. Um, Trying to remember where we left off in the game, like what we were doing next. We were gonna build something, right? Oh, occupational therapy. Oh, interesting, okay. Is, is it different because it's better covered by, by insurance? Because that sounds like the kind of dumb paperwork that insurance would require. Um, we don't have a foundry yet. Oh, that's right. We're trying to get the sawmill, and we need logs for that. Okay. I do remember this. Okay. Let's see. Where can we go that may have some trees? Probably a creek. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's go to the creek. Let's do it. All right. Oh, wait, no. Hold on. I saw something that said new. Yeah. All right, that's better. No idea. It's literally in the same room that you went to for PT. Oh, that's so funny. Um, what was what was I gonna say though? Oh yeah. So I've had like really really bad internet for the last couple of weeks. Um, turns out that when my contract uh, lapsed and they like raised the cost of you know, having internet, um, just for having it for a while, uh, they downgraded the quality. So, like, they, I was paying for 250 down, and they dropped me to 100 down. So, living with, in a house with roommates, no wonder. Oh my god, I was so pissed. I was like, you can't just downgrade my internet and not tell me. And keep charging me the same. I was so, so angry. Pretty sus. Yeah, insurance, or not, it, well, actually, insurance also, but internet in utility companies, it's, I think it's all a scam. Uh, 
because like there's no competition they can just kind of do whatever they want because they have monopolies it's it's super dumb 100 percent scam yeah totally um have i landed oh i have to take my little boat it's coming back to me this is coming back to me i'm re i remember But yeah, PT, it is not not fun. I had to do PT for my shoulder once um, because I pulled like a, a muscle or a tendon um, when I started doing like aerial arts. Like, uh, oh, I forgot, I had to let go when I do that. Like silks and lira. Um, there it is. Uh, really quickly injured myself because of how demanding that sport is and had to do PT for I think I did it for a month or two uh, and I ended up stopping the PT because the like treatment plan they put me on was too intense and so I actually was having like more pain from the PT than from the injury itself so I just like waited for it to heal and I was better I like that everything in this game picks up automatically. I think that's a really nice touch. Uh, down and, ooh. Down A, down B. Ooh, I can sell that. Valuable ring. Not valuable to me. Hey. I came here to cut down these trees, but I forgot my ax. Uh, I'm gonna, not gonna start using someone else's axe. That would be strange. Oh, sorry, buddy. I already cut them all down, but I like the way my axe feels. So sturdy and calms me. Oh, I miss that axe. I've been passing by the time writing letters and throwing some in the water. I've been writing poetry. It's not very good, but I'm getting better. Hopefully no one finds my terrible poetry. I hope some of it comes up later. That'd be funny. People you've seen have been really flexible with accessibility. That's good. Yeah, I think that... Um, uh, I think that the person I was seeing just kind of overestimated my uh, ability. And so they had me doing, like, too many reps. And so, like, by the end of the day... And I was also doing a really active job at that time. I was working in a warehouse. So it was, like, doing PT in the morning because I couldn't do it at night because I was too tired. And then going to work and physically like lifting uh, you know sometimes 70 pound barrels onto like little tracks to roll them around the the store the warehouses it was, it was a, a lot uh stella i've got to tell you there's something i've stumbled upon some time ago and up until now it didn't seem that important brace yourself remember my parents manor on the lake as weird as it sounds it's not too far from here mm -hmm. yes i know it makes me wonder about this world, too. I must admit, I've been actively trying to avoid it. At any rate, it's become hard to ignore. As I've spent much time with you here, I think I'm ready to tackle this challenge. I'll probably only find regrets and sorrows there, but it's worth a shot. I've added the location on your map. I'll be ready whenever you are. Cool. Well, I have enough to make this... Uh, sawmill now. Oh my god, it's huge! I think we need to do some Tetrising. Should we, like, tear some of this apart and, like, remake it? Because this would fit really well, like, right there. Um, is it, is it silly? Oh, no, we want to go to move. Edit. Oh, yeah. I love this. Oh, man. This is really satisfying to me.
All right, you know what? You just go up here for a minute. But I'm glad that your PT is going a lot better. British assassin, hello. Lurking because you're at work? Just popping in to say hi. Well, I appreciate the lurk. I hope that your work day uh, is is nice and smooth for you. Oh, you know what? I like that. It It's not like super perfect, like it's really close to perfect. I'm trying to work out why that. Oh, I guess cuz the All right. I get it. That makes me kind of happy. Let's see. Now the question becomes, what do we do with these? Do we throw this there? I think that I like having some height when I'm like jumping around trying to catch stuff. What if we do like that? You know, I'm cool with it, that's fine. I'm good with that for now. You've been wanting to play this since your partner showed it to you. Pyro, this game is lovely. Um, and there's a lot of, like, queerness with this game that I really like. Um, like, Stella, our main character here, is super gender ambiguous, and I really like that. Um, yeah. It's, it's weird. I was a little bit nervous going live today because it's my first time... Uh, streaming and putting the LGBT tag back on the stream and I immediately upon going live got followed by a bot and I was like oh no <laughs> so that's out no I just how do I interact with this how does this work oh Finalize. Oh, this is cool. Maple log and sawdust. You keep the tag and then ban bots left and right. I guess I get nervous because I never know who's a bot, right? Did... Did that work the way it was supposed to? Didn't I just get back a log? I don't, I don't know if I did that right. That's, that's okay. That's fine. But yeah, I don't know. I... I did the other day, um, uh, one of, one of our lovely viewers, um, sent me a list of a bunch of common bots, and I went through and, and banned all the most common ones. Uh, this looks amazing, thank you for helping me out, Stella. This sawmill is so big, what a beauty! There's just one problem, now don't get mad, I don't have any money to repay you. I guess that's why they call it a favor. You see what I did there? Thanks again, Sprout. Well, at least he's happy. Well, well. A snack would be great right now. Alright. What do we got? Uh, you hate shellfish grilled veggies? Love it. Perfect. Excellent. You're doing it all wrong. Did I do it wrong? Let me give you a hand. When you're cutting logs, you need to make sure your measurements are accurate. Then you cut. Measure twice, then cut. You need to keep uh, you keep your saw blade steady on the cutting line. Uh, if you don't do it properly, you'll end up losing a pinky or an arm. Oh, I do have to control something. I was like, there's no way this happens without a mini game. 
Uh, or something worse. And a hit from the old hammer for good luck. Give it a try now, you rascal. Let's just do one. Oh, oh, I get it. Aw, oh, that's, that's kind of cool. Let's do five. We'll get some good practice in, right? This is a little tricky. I only got one that time. Lots of sawdust. Not very good at this. Oh, there we go. There it is. Yeah, I got three. Okay. Would you look at that? No! Would you look at that? You did great. You're ready to start cutting wood like a champ. Just remember to be careful with the sawmill. Don't go and mess around with dangerous saw blades. Just because you've got leftover wood doesn't mean you should cut your hand off. Yeah, it is cool. Um, where do we go next? I don't think we have a foundry, do we? No, we don't. We do have a loom, so we're good there. So we just need the foundry. I guess I could also check my, like, quests. Oh, looks like we got a new one here. A word, please. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been very tired recently. Uh, and I'm afraid to say that it's starting to weigh on my morale. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I think the guest house, as lovely as it is, might not be very good for me. It's a bit too noisy and quite cramped. I hate to ask this of you, but really, could you maybe arrange for me to have a little private space on the boat? I think it would help me tremendously. We could continue our lessons, but nothing too fancy. Just a place to sleep and meditate. With lush greenery, perhaps. Oh, and I'd be delighted if it had natural stones. Yes, that would be splendid. Thank you again, Stella. You got it. Well, now we know what to build. What a coincidence. Uh, we need more planks and limestone. All right. Oh, is it morning? Good morning. Well, we can go talk to this guy. Uh, we'll get we'll get back to you. I wanna. No, I don't need that. I wanna make some more wood. Oh yeah, perfect. I think I'm getting the hang of it. You have to, like, do it a little bit early. I think we've arrived at our snake friend. Oops, too early, too early. Only it was this easy in real life. Oh, something else. I started reading Dune last night. Are there any Dune fans in the chat? Like, I'm excited for the movie. Uh, but also, uh, it's one of my partner's favorite books, and I have a lot of people talking up to me lately and with the movie coming out, so I was like, eh, 
I'll give it give it a go. The dragon is back, Stella. Should we help it? Of course. Alrighty, let's get ready for it. I'm ready. I feel like a little bad. You're a would-be Dune fan? I have a feeling I'm gonna become a fan. I really like it so- well, I, I can't say I really like it so far, I'm only a couple chapters in, but, um... Uh, from what I understand about the game, I've played the board game. Um, I like the premise and the environment and all of that a lot. Haven't had an opportunity to read, um, read the book or watch the old movie show. No, there's a, a new movie that's coming out in two months, at the end of October. Uh, I haven't seen the movie or, or any any shows or anything about it. I have played the new board game that is related to the new movie. The uh, original movie was really bad. <laughs> they seem corrupted. Yeah, we, we've done this. Incredible! It looks relieved, doesn't it? I wonder what it means. Yeah, we've heard this before. You're hungry. And you're a vegetarian. Yum. Hey, Stella. As you know, I tend to get hungry. That's just a fact of life. Sometimes when I do, I get hungry for really specific things. Your aunt B would call it laser-focused tummy. Don't get me wrong. I still eat pretty much whatever you put in front of me. Um, I'd just like for you to put in some effort into this one. I'll give you a shout when I get a craving. Hopefully I won't ask for anything too extreme. You never know with this appetite. Fair warning. Wow, alright. Well, you don't have a picky appetite right now, so... Let's see, do we have enough? Oh, it's limestone, not quartz. Okay. Limestone and oak plank. We don't have either of those. All right. Uh, may as well go here. Maybe we'll get some lightning while we're at it. I really like how you can build your base in this game. I think that that is underrated. Well, I don't know. I don't even know if it's underrated, but I have been underappreciating how much I like <laughs> being able to just put these platforms wherever you want. It's like, oh, well, I want to be able to go up really high for this next part of the game, so I'll just like move my buildings around. fished in a while. Message in a bottle. I hope it's a poem. Sprout! A storm! Let's try and catch some lightning. Yeah. That's a spirit. Oh, I like that he plays the flute. That's really cute. I don't know if I get tired of this music. It is fun.
Oh my god, did the cat get hit? Oh my god, the cat gets hit by lightning. Aw, oh, thanks, buddy. You're helping. Ah, oh, I missed it. Sit down. That's fun. Are you hungry? You're very picky. Do you want me to stop weaving? No. Oh, I wanted to pet the cat. All right, all right. Let's go. Let's get out. Come. Isn't there a pet cat button? Yeah. Oh, snuggle. Sure, what else? Oh, I guess I could make some food. Go back to fishing. Wait, what was that message in the bottle? Uh. Requests. Oh, head over there? Okay. Complete your first errand. I try to remember some of these. Uh, but where's my inventory? Not there. Hmm. It's not that. Nope. I cannot remember how to get to- Oh, there it is. Okay. A lumberjack without an axe, crying and sobbing. Old trees aren't following the cutting. Uh, we'll grow old, they said, laughing. <laughs> oh, I had- I didn't know I had to, uh... Like... Open that. Alright, well, cool. All right, here we are. It's curious, I'm both excited and anxious. I've even started to have second thoughts. As if, never mind, let's go. Let me go, let me go. Oh, now my camera looks fine. Maybe it's just the lighting. What's in here? Locked! We'll get in. Oh, how long has it been since we've been here together, Stella? Seems Jerry has been taking good care of the premises. He's always been the best gardener we've ever had with us. Mom has not been home much since father died. Shit, I'm much more emotional than I thought mm. I ever could be. I love this house so much. So much as I hated it, probably. Mm. Look, I don't think I can go in there, even with you. It's mm. just... No, I can't. Go without me. I'll wait for you here. Here's mm. the key. Oh, and Stella, if you stumble upon my old music box, would you bring it to me? Thanks mm. a lot. Remember, this house has always been a real labyrinth. If you get lost, you have to follow the light. Good luck mm. in there. I'll wait for you outside. 
I get those feels. I get that. So that can be another family member for us to pick up. Oh. Welcome, small traveler, to my humble palace. Everything I own is of the finest quality. Everything is also bolted down, so don't get any funny ideas. Loom upgrade and music box. No. Uh, have you seen my splendid silver collection? I've been told it was priceless. I'll let you in on another insider uh -huh. secret. It's very pricey. This house is so big, people sometimes get lost walking through it, one wandering around for a few hours, even days. Growing ever hungrier. Glimpses of shadowy figures slipping in and out at the very edge of their vision. An endless dalius of wealth and splendor. What, me? No, of course. This never happened to me. Since this is so obviously my house. What a silly thing to say. <laughs> there you go. Found the box? Could you give it to me? We can't talk. Would you like some coffee? Take a cup of coffee anytime. I might take a coffee break one second. Uh, in a few minutes. Could use some coffee. Locked. I'll look around. Let's hug. Hmm. Aww. Hmm. Feeling much better. <laughs> this is like it's Zool's banging. <laughs> Favorite food is black coffee. This like anything shellfish and fish. All right, well, are we done here? Oh, I have to give it. I have to actually hand it over. I get it. Thank you. I'll hold on to it. Oh, you found something else? Wow, I forgot we even had that. It's an old manual for a golden royal. Royale? Remember they had one as first prize in the town's yearly tambala? I dreamt of having this machine since second grade, but father would never let me participate in the lottery. This manual will come in handy. Mm -hmm. We can use it to upgrade as an upgrade for your loom. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, let's get back to the boat. And forget this place ever existed. Aw. Yes. Old painting. Can we go the other way? Because there's still that other door that I really want to check out, but it's locked. I guess we'll come back here at some point.
Unless there's a key hidden in the house somewhere. Maybe now that we've gone through it, it'll all be unlocked. I'm gonna try it. Maybe not. Hmm. About time to lurk and get your own stream going and have a good stream. You as well. Yeah, have a great stream. Thanks for stopping in and thanks for that reset, Pyro. I'll catch you around. I'm just like checking all of the other directions that I could possibly move. Oh, see? If this is a key, I'm gonna be so pumped. Old carpet. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh. Uh, nothing left to say. Oh. Oh, I missed something else up here. I'm glad I looked around. Jeez. How do I get up there, though? Oh, can't stand on that. Alright, well... Hmm. Maybe we'll come back. Can try talking? Nope, can't talk. Oh, I want- I want to get up there so bad. Oh, this hurts. Oh, it hurts so much. I want to get up there. Maybe I'm gonna get, like, a triple jump later in the game. I don't know, that doesn't feel right, but... Hey. Stella, I... Nah, never mind. Nostalgia is not my forte. I'm slightly happy the villa is still in good condition. Or is it? Let's change the subject. You might have noticed the improved tab on your blueprint table. Through there, you can add decorative elements to spirit houses and stations. It's time to upgrade this loom of yours. Once you've got the required resources, go for it. It's the only way to craft fabric from thread. Go on. Improve. Loom. Oh, but I need more linen thread. Okay. So it's probably not a good thing that I've been not growing linen. But, like, we never want to run out of coffee. So, like, of course it's been a lot of, you know, coffee beans. No, 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 no. I do, I think, if there was one thing I would change about this game, it would be to have a different button be what exits you out of doors. Because I frequently uh, use the wrong, or uh, try, try to activate something and I just leave the room. That's a very minor critique. And that could just be me needing to get used to the controls more. Shrimp? Alright, let's put something in the oven and then immediately go to bed because... 
Yeah. Safe. You leave the crock pot on overnight. I was actually thinking about getting a crock pot. I used to, or I should say, I had a roommate who had one. <laughs> and I used it occasionally. But I'm really looking forward to making some apple butter this uh, this fall. I, I got some apple butter when I was in New Hampshire. Um, and it was just so, so, so good. Um, I've been eating through it really, really quickly. And so I'm like, I should just make a bunch of it. I should just like make a big thing. Oh, Gurian Fields, let's go. didn't burn. Excellent. You can cook sawdust? I'm very curious. You know me. I could always go for a little snack. Sometimes salty, something buttery, something with flavor. Oh, jeez. You know what would be just perfect? A big old bag of popcorn all to myself. Just go ahead and heat up some corn. Already made six days ago, just for you. That didn't really fill me up, however, it did make me miss kids a whole lot. I used to make big bags of popcorn on movie night for them. I keep adding words. <laughs> like, he doesn't say all that, but I added in some words there. Uh, even with the TV turned up, you couldn't hear the actors talking. The crunching was so loud. It was the only way to calm those little monsters down, watching these terrible kids' movies. I wish I was still there to see them laughing, for them all to fall asleep, for them to fall asleep on me. Thanks for this popcorn. I was looking at your kitchen yesterday. It's fine, nothing special. Reminds me of my first kitchen. My terrible apartment. I didn't know what I was doing in there. I was so careless with the spices, not even salt. Anyways, here's a little something to brighten this mess up. Don't worry, it's not a spice rack. You'll uh, need to actually work for it, but it will be worth it. Just improve your kitchen with some extra oven space. Your kitchen will be looking just right in no time. Excellent. What do I need for this big stove? Oh, it's going to be under improvements. Green fields discovered. I, I know I'm saying that wrong. I, I did... I'll read it a little closer next time I see it. Uh. Oh, I see. I have to hover over. I was like, I don't see the thing listed. Linen fabric. All right, so we have to do the the other thing first. Please grow. One last time. Look, I need to tell you about Doug. He called me the, uh, the night father died. Mom was still on the plane and he couldn't talk to anyone else. He was polite, very articulate. Uh, we chatted for an hour or so and he cried only twice. It didn't strike me at the time, but he was in a bar. Mm -hmm which was odd for an accountant. He told me my father's last words were that he loved me. Mm. We never talked again. Oh.
Oh, my shoulders and like my oh uh, whoops whoopsie daisies. Let's try that again My shoulders and like my neck and my forearms and everything. I'm very sore because yesterday I uh, went rock climbing and I'm still like I'm very much a newbie Squid Off we go. Oh, but like I keep like stretching. Everything feels kind of like sore. Oh, a visitor. Welcome. Are you here for world renowned Fugo Fugawa? Furogawa. Furogawa tours. Of course you are. But you're holding our brochure. <laughs> the tour is about to start. We do have the brochure, I remember that. It takes about five minutes and covers the history and flora of this island. After, you'll be able to tell your friends about it. Don't worry, there's no gift shop after this tour. Ready? Perfect. Let's start right away. As you can see, this island doesn't get many visitors. People tend to focus on big city attractions. Here, it's peaceful and quiet. That's something you'll notice with the fauna. Rice patches and, and a healthy forest are its main attraction. Moving on. This is pretty. Don't get too close! Over here. The rice production here is quite incredible. Workers harvest around the clock to feed local families. Right now, no one is around. I'm not sure why. I sometimes play in them when I am off duty, but that's beside the point. Off to our next stop. Step off, please. <laughs> Don't get too close! Alright. You can feel the humidity. I mean, really feel it. This oak forest really gets to me. We have a connection. A strange connection. I tend to skip this path this part of the tour, to be honest. If we could move along, that would be great. Oh, we're gonna cut this tree down, though. Hope we don't get in trouble. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought that, like, I could really take advantage of this tree. At least they said it's, like, not too important, you know? Speaking of which, this fortune tree is the centerpiece of the whole island. Oh my god, are we gonna cut it down? Are we not sure when it, uh, we're not sure when it was first planted. People from all around the world would travel here and leave messages. Anything to help with their lives. This concludes our tour. Furogawa Tours is grateful for your participation. Thank you for your ears and your patience. Thank you again for your presence. If you'd like to leave a tip, that would be appreciated. I recommend something along the lines of 50 gleams. Yeah, sure. I knew I struck a chord with you. I'll sign you up to our upcoming tours newsletter. You'll have an educational great time. Thank you for your kind spirit. Oh my god. Can I can I not shear the sheep? Bah. I would like to shear the sheep. That's new. Oh, what's up here? Uh, excuse me. I would like to get up here, please. It's not your time yet. It's probably... That looks like a new person, like...
Oh. Oh, it was a mushroom. Didn't even notice. Can I leave a little note? taking the tour. Don't forget to tell your friends. I suppose that's all we can do for now. Yep. There isn't really a fire, but I wouldn't mind a nice hot dish to warm me up. You don't like shellfish or fish. Mm -hmm. Love it. Mm. Oh my god, this is still going. What happens when you put sawdust in the... in the thing? Hi! I'm immensely chipper to see a dynamic young lady being so hard at work. Not that Charon wasn't a true professional, but his manners were, well, a bit cold, if you know what I mean. And he kept everything you found. What a pity. But you're here now. Huzzah, if I dare say. Oh, and don't fret. Budding Mar Mariner. If I ever needed old Francis, we'll never be too far. But don't let me be uh, impotent to your appetite for adventure. Go on, set sail, little blue jacket. Should be sold. It feels weird, like, selling all this stuff. Oh, whoops. I don't want to sell my corn. Let's say proof that beautiful does not mean expensive. What? Poached fruit. Squid sail on sockeye salmon. Gotta keep it. In. I guess I'll have to just fish more. Anything we want to buy? Not really. Oh, I just saw that our cooking is done. Just a herring. Interesting. Okay. Let's cook some mushroom. Did we get what we needed to improve? Maybe it wasn't the sawmill? No, it was the kitchen. We still need the linen fabric, right. For which we just need more linen thread now. Okay. Was the errand. It was to get those fish. Okay. Growth mushrooms. Try the squid. All right. 
where to? Ooh, this is all new. Well, let's go there first. Oh, let go. scallops I saw a shooting star in the back there I wonder how common that is oh there's another one how about a meal I'm starving There's like a, a solar lunar eclipse. I forget if a solar eclipse is when the moon is in front or what. I could really just play this game all day long. It is really, really lovely. Nothing else to die for over here? have enough linen seed to get the linen that I need. I might have to go into town to get some more. Let's loom. This one's way easier than the wood one. That's a bunch of thread. Thread? Mm -hmm. I've got some thread here. I was going to use it to weave some fabric for you later, but I want... Uh, if you want, I can give it to you for you to weave. Do you want the thread? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks. I don't like this. What? Want some strawberries? Mm -hmm. Don't get me started on fruit! shellfish whatever worthy the best fine dining restaurants I've been to and I've been in those a lot thanks a lot hey didn't need that much Now I just need some fabric. Mm 
The eel only makes grilled fish. Mm -hmm. Now the loom is fully useful, of course. Many stations can be upgraded. You just have to find the blueprints for them and the materials, mm -hmm. of course. So I believe it's time for me to teach you some advanced looming skills. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's a thing. There are a few improvements you can make to the machine itself. It deepens how you place your hands on the machine. How you arrange the threads as you load it up makes a big impact too. With a few simple tricks, you'll be able to craft much more intricate items. Fabrics, actually. Here, let's take a look. We can finally craft fabric from thread. Alright, I'll be patient. I'll wait. What's going on? Mm. Oh, it's just the same. Oh, okay. Mm. You're a natural. Why am I not surprised? You've reached a pro level now. There's nothing more I can teach you on the subject. That being said, if you don't mind, I'll give it a go myself. It'll definitely help me unwind a bit. Sure, and if you... Excellent. We've got fabric. Hmm. Stella, are you hungry? Nope. I don't like this. Mood. Needs a home. <laughs> We're working on it. We're working on it. Try not to be, like, super unhappy. Oh, man. Yeah. There's something else I want to talk to you about. Look, I'm really grateful for you having allowed me to reside in such a nice cabin, but I must admit, it's just a bit empty. You know me, I've spent my life surrounded by pointless and tacky things. But in a house like this one, I believe we could do something very special, unique. With class and coziness. What do you think? A little bit of improving might do the trick. Fabulous. I'll leave you to it. No rush. I, I did your thing. Let's go over here. Might as well grab some. Oh. Looking good. You got that done quick, Sprout. Thanks for taking the time. A good kitchen is a good investment. You'll see. You won't regret it. I promise. Well, my stomach either. Thanks. Aha! All right. So now we can do, like, squid and veggies. I'm curious if it'll cook them, like, both at the same time and we'll get the same things, or if it'll combine them and it'll be, like, a recipe. You've been chopping it up in the sawmill. I like it. Getting work done. Learned a new skill. Now that you've got some materials, maybe you could build me a house. Let me sketch something real quick. Look, it's nothing fancy. It's pretty basic, with just a few hinges here. A few nails there. Oh, you've already got some materials to build me something. Nice. Uh, I'm asking not only for me, but for the crew. Apparently I snore at night. Loudly. According to your friend Gwen. This 
Sewell's workshop. Oh, I need more linen thread. Okay. Oh, we'll get that. Lettuce seed? That was new. I think the slate is new also. Starting to get different materials is exciting. here. Where do we want to go? Oh my god, there's like so many choices. Let's go to this one, I guess. What's good with corn? Corn and scallops? Let's try it. Let's see if we can get anything new planted here. You again! Lettuce! Sir, you're in the way. Interesting seeds I can buy. Just an odd seed. I'm not ready to try the odd seeds yet. Ah, yes, we're back here. All right, let's try. Let's do some fishing. Making all this food in the game is making me hungry. I don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. I think I've been struggling to eat healthy lately. So like, part of me is like, I, sh I really want takeout. <laughs> but... Probably shouldn't. shrimp. We're getting new fish. We'll put lightning in that. Oh! What's going on? We've run ashore! We can't go to this area yet. I get it. I get it. Well, at least our boat didn't sink. Carnival head, hello! How are you doing? Flashbacks to Titanic all over again. Right? Like, we just, like, hit an iceberg and the boat's just, like, 
chill. Just hanging out. That's a big one. Oh, wow. There's no way our boat is getting through that. Maybe Albert has something in his arsenal. Like dynamite or something. Alright, we have to upgrade our ship. Oh, good. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing good. Taking it easy. Having a nice relax today. Got it. So we can't go past this blue line yet. Let's go here instead. Mount Toroyama. Let's do it. I'm gonna do some more fishing. But yeah, I'm feeling good. I went rock climbing yesterday. Today I did a couple of chores. Um... I, uh, figured out why my internet has been so shitty lately. Uh, didn't really come to, like, a good resolution, but it's at least better, I guess. Hopefully my stream won't just, like, crap, crap out as often, you know? Do you have a long weekend? To, at least till Wednesday. That's like a vacation. That's awesome. Happy for you. I was like so relieved to find out that I got the uh, the long weekend because uh, I wasn't sure if I would. What's for dinner? My stomach is rumbling. See, you've got some new kitchen equipment. You've got the tools to feed an army. I needed a little pick-me-up. Something that would keep me going for hours. Some pork chops, maybe. If I had access to my kitchen, my spices, and the market back home, I could whip something up. I just don't know what's possible over here. You'll have to make it up as you go along. That's what cooking is. Lying... <laughs> lying that doesn't come back to haunt you. Wise words that your great-grandma once told me. What a lady. I don't know if we've got pork chops. I wonder if we have enough seed now. Hey, we made it to the island. Um, I'll talk to you in a minute. I want to check this first. Mount Toriyama discovered. It's a cute little island. Um, we need more thread. So we've got the fiber. We can probably make that now. That's probably enough. I didn't actually check. Yeah, perfect. Oh my god, it's so big. Do you need a house this big? Sir. Alright, we've got two quests to catch up on here. Why don't you fish anymore? It's real calming. You just cast the line and you wait. So relaxing. And then it's the fight of your life. You give it all your heart. What's not to love about it? All right, I know it's it, it, every game has a fishing mechanic, okay? It's not my fault that I get tired of it. <laughs> Would you look at that? It's perfect, Sprout. It's massive. All this room for a little one me. I can't wait to catch some shut-eye. This is really great. Thank you so much. You won't forget this. <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> 
We'll, we'll get your house soon enough. Um... Let's go to the island. I wish I could shear the sheep. There, young lady how are you doing oh yes right perhaps you can help me you must have stumbled upon a fluffy sheep on the loose down there try getting back in his enclosure but the stubborn creature won't listen to me chances on your side its weak spot is its gluttony so it will definitely follow anyone who would feed it would you be a deer and give it a try i mean there's the sheep but where is the sheep supposed to go Feed. Want some corn? Bridge! Hello! How are you doing? Will the sheep come up here? Where is the sheep supposed to go? Oh great, it's following you. Just lead it to the enclosure next to the pier. Or follow me, I'm going there. You're not going anywhere. Oh, okay. Alright, it's, it's, it's there. You're doing good. Glad to hear it. Do you have a long weekend? For Labor Day? Goodness, what a nice sheep. It followed you all the way to its home. Always following your stomach, aren't you, little guy? Teehee, my son's just like that. Don't you think it uh, looks lonely? Maybe that's why I left. I'm gonna keep it company, don't worry. But maybe. Well, if you found another stray sheep, could you bring it back here? They could entertain each other. Well, if it's not too inconvenient for you. I'm Alice, by the way. Very nice meeting you. One sheep, two sheep. Can I go in here? No. But there's things in here! Still working, but things will be a bit quieter, which is nice. Yeah, that's it's a little break in itself, I suppose. With my current job, I was working with a, uh, a a temp agency and eventually moved to like a different subcontractor working for the, the same employer. And um, when I was under the temping agency, I didn't get any holidays. So I just kind of expected to not have Labor Day off. And then I found out that I did like last Thursday or something, I've been like just so excited ever since. Just like, yes, I get holidays. Seems so like silly when you say it like that, but before that I worked retail, so it's you get used to not having holidays off. Was there anything else down this way? There sure was. Yeah, right? Like surprise days off are the best. Huh. I don't know what to do with that yet. I feel like I needed a wall jump or something here. You work security, so you work holidays regardless, but no people in the building. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I feel like, I feel so bad for um, the security guy who works at our office because it's, the building is empty all the time like no one is there um and one time i like had to come by to pick something up 
that I had left. And so when I when I showed up, he was like, oh, oh, hello. How, how's it going? How are you? And I was like, man, how much Netflix have you watched? And he's like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Just absolutely shocked. Like he's like super happy to like have the job and everything, but it's it's like day after day, you're just sitting there. Yeah, just happy to see another living person. It reminded me a little bit, there was um, a story that I read, it was someone asking for like legal advice because they had been working at a job, um, actually there's two stories that I think of. They had been working at a job for um, a couple of months, they weren't there very long, and they had some injury where they like broke their leg or something and couldn't go into the office because of accessibility concerns. So due to local law, the office had to provide them with a working space on a different property that had accessibility options. And so um, they had their own private office in this other unrelated building and they were doing work there for about a month. And then there was an entire restructuring of the of the whole company. Um, so they like they got bought out or something, and all the managers were fired and and replaced by new people, and people just stopped assigning him work. So he was like showing up every day and just sitting there. And eventually he like brought in his PlayStation and was like playing games or whatever. And then the legal question was if he could work a second job from home, from his other office, because he was still showing up and getting paid and everything. And the, the consensus was like, dude, you've been doing this for a whole year. You need to quit and, and start your new employment. Um, can I get up here? Oh, I can. Hell yeah. I just like, I was like, that's wild. Oh my God. Can you imagine just like getting paid to do nothing for like a full year, having just like fallen through the cracks? Not sure if moonlighting laws vary from state to state. I have no idea. I like reading about various little legal questions like that, but I don't actually know very much. Uh, I feel like I'm missing an item to be able to go any further. I can't get this other sheep, I don't think. And there was another story. Yeah, the other story was like someone in college, they're working in a call center. Uh, and they figured out that if they, like, blew very gently into the microphone, it would register as a uh, dial tone in the headset, and it would automatically hang up and dial the next number. So after, so they did that for, like, a year, just, like, sitting at a desk, blowing into a phone so they didn't have to actually do any work, and then eventually quit when they graduated. <laughs> hey, Loof, how you doing? find that smart yeah I mean it's like maybe a, just a tiny bit fraud but you know it's clever <laughs> have you found another sheet I'm happy to keep company but another sheep probably be better company oh I want to find the other sheep I'm gonna try one more time I really want to find this other sheep and it saved a lot of people from getting those annoying calls that is a solid point you know what they were actually doing a service they did a service. They did a service I'm grateful for. When you put it that way, I'm like, oh, no, you're right. <laughs> How do I get up here, though? I don't think I can. I think I'm, I think I'm stuck. But, Loop, how are you doing? You having a, a good weekend so far? You learned in Japan. Uh, you used to have a statue of limitations on murder. Wow, really? After like five years, they're like, nah, you know what? No one cared about them anyway. That's wild. Abolished in 2010. That's so late. <laughs> God damn. I guess we'll leave, we'll maybe we'll come back at some point. Let's 
see if we got a new fish here. But yeah, I love reading like li little weird legal threads. Um, Cause I just find them kind of interesting. Uh, bisque. Oh, that sounds really good right now. What can I do with fruit? You can't mix it with anything? Lettuce! is available. There's still flaws in a lot of criminal justice. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The criminal justice system is flawed as hell. I, I don't know any specifics about, like, Japan, but I can speak to the U.S. and it's it's bad. It's real bad. <laughs> any, can't think of any in the U.S. justice system. Yeah. Where are we going? What are we doing? Where are we going next? Like, what is this? I don't even know what that is. Go with the crates? Uh, oh, let me out. I don't know about that case specifically, but considering you're saying that only 21 years and that's the max, it must have been some pretty heinous stuff. I might have even heard about it and just don't remember the name. Wait, didn't I need poached fruit for something? Actually, that's better. Let's try that. Oh. Yeah, that's shitty. That's very shitty. Yeah, I've listened to some podcasts um, that talk about the criminal justice system in the U.S. at least, um, and how, like, deeply flawed it is, especially if you're, like, a person of color, uh, or if you were wrongly convicted of something, how almost impossible it is to get your record straight. It's like you're pretty much just screwed. After 21 years, they have to reevaluate and can add five years. He also asked for parole. Of course he did. Tea! Oh my god, tea! I love tea. I've been slacking on my tea game lately, though. Either I've got a couple of recipes for like cold brew, but also some like chai latte recipes uh, and matcha latte recipes that are very easy to just kind of like have on the go. Pork chops are the way to my heart. Oh yeah, that's right. Sorry, we don't have any pork yet. I'm not sure how to get pork. I've got a lot of this now. Uh, I keep making the same things over again.
This is just gonna be like steamed veggies, but let's try it. Pork, hello. He heard pork and he arrived. <laughs> Orc, how are you doing? I'm I I wish I could check what the uh the cost of upgrading our ship here was so we could get over here. Maybe we'll do that soon. Let's go here first. Playing some Doom Eternal DLC. Never failed to summon. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Oh, what? You guys are fighting? I could go for an amuse boosh. Here, have some coffee. You relax. How about you? Stomach is rumbling. Poached fruit? Oh, didn't I need that? Oh, whatever. I should really give Doom another shot. I, um... I played it one time, but I played it on a console, and it just, like, didn't... I just think it didn't work with the controls on a controller. Could have just been me. But also... It seemed bad for that game. Man, all this talk about... All this food that I'm cooking. I'm like, I need some chocolate. I need something to just satisfy. Look at all these trees! I'll be picking up some wood. Hoping to work on these later. Ha, got him. Uh, I need triple jump. What I love about your... What I love about spitting is the talent you need. Wow, I really needed to read that twice, you know? Takes real skill to find a target, aim, and hit the bullseye. That's a skill and a raw talent for sure. I love- I just love that I'm good at something. You do you, bud. <laughs> On the off chance, I might hit someone right in the head. I seem to never run out of spit. <laughs> this small bridge isn't very high up. And nobody ever swims down there. Still, it's pretty oh. satisfying. I'm fully equipped. I've got my mouth. I've got my bottle oh. of water. I'm ready. I've got the spirit to do it for years. Maybe I shouldn't go down there. Oh wow, I didn't auto pick that one up. I thought I always would pick them up. Kitty! Come, kitty! Oh, we're getting lots of resources on this island. God damn. Whoops. I always do that.
Also, Orc, I gotta say, like, ever since being on vacation, I, like, my diet has been so thrown off. And I don't mean diet as in, like, cutting calories or anything like that. I just mean, like, the, the food that I eat every day. I feel like I say... I, I need something... I need a better word for that other than other than diet. But anyways, um, I, like, can't stop eating trash. <laughs> I, like, I just want to start eating, like, healthy again. It won't let me jump down there, which is surprising. Uh, but also, like, the other day I went rock, rock climbing, and I was so crazy hungry afterwards. Like, I didn't even work out that much. Like, I basically just... Uh, climbed until my hands gave out, which did not take very long. It actually won't let me go down there, that's funny. Still can't get up there, don't know how. Food quality, yeah, I like got really used to eating shitty junk food, just like carbs and carbs and carbs and carbs. So I get back and I'm like, bowl of pretzels! Like pretzels? I meant to go grocery shopping today, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Grain salad? Interesting. Okay. Oh my god, the cat. I can't get over how cute the cat is. Why are you all arguing all the time? I was so mad. Everybody's angry. I don't know what to do about it. I'm starting to understand how this world is laid out, like this map. Let's actually go to him because I think I have everything I need for his errand. Yeah, I should... I, I don't know. I Well, I have been working out more. I've been going dancing and then I've started rock climbing. And I gotta say, I think my favorite thing about rock climbing is just the... How easy it is to do compared to dance classes in terms of like accessibility like i can go on i can go rock climbing anytime i want like if i really wanted to i could do it during my lunch break um but like on friday i went after work whereas like if i was taking a class i would have to schedule it a week in advance or more so the class doesn't fill up and, and just, like, have everything, like, super pre-planned. So usually, like, if I get a bunch of classes, I book them all immediately for the next full month. So I just have, like, my whole month planned out. Um, and if I deviate from that, I might not get back into a class, then the class expires. Although usually people drop right at, uh, like, the day of. So usually you can, like, shuffle it around a little bit, but there is sometimes, like, a fee or whatever. Yeah, walking classes are nice, but just, like, they're always full at my schools. Errands. Heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah, I can do that one too. Carrots and turnips. I don't have any turnip seeds. Completed your first errand. What a great haul. There's plenty more to do if you ever feel like it. I'll always be around. Do you have any turnip seeds? You know what? I'll get an odd seed. Is there anything I can sell on here? I got planks! Ooh. 
Yeah, I know space is limited now uh, due to COVID. Yeah, that was the other thing, is that the only dance classes I'm taking at my studio right now are choreography classes because they have fewer students. If I go to some of like the basic kind of like more workout or like move style classes, um, they have twice as many people. And it, it actually makes me a little uncomfortable. Um, like... Being in a class with five people in a in a s relatively small dance space is is okay, but ten, I'm like, and masks are required now and everything. But I just I don't know. I just feel a little uneasy about it. <laughs> Thanks for the single oak plank, man. Appreciate it. All right, let's actually go back to the docks. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, whatever it is, it's big. A soul! Didn't we need that? We need that and a salmon. Like a sockeye salmon, I think, for the next errand. Take a nap. gonna stop now god damn it there you go Black tiger shrimp. That seems fancy. Good morning. Trying to catch raindrops in my tongue. I like the frog. Make it? No, not yet. More tea. Can never have too much tea. I need to get these three to be on the same like watering schedule. Good morning. You hungry? I haven't made coffee in a while. Have some popcorn. That's a good 
good morning food. Let's actually make some more coffee. Excellent. Excellent. That was fast. Did we stop, like, moving? I just realized the, uh... No, we're going. There's no timer at the top, so I was like, how much further? Coffee! I wonder if we'll be able to do, like, not black coffee. Let's, you know what, let's just make a bunch of coal. That's the only misclick I'm, like, happy about. Okay. I'm not ready for these puns. Ho ho! Wait one second. I don't have a joke for the loom yet. I might have one soon. It's coming. I can feel it. Looming over me. linen thread, an oak plank, large sized boat. All right, there's a few things here that we should do. Let's do this first. Let's first get a massive boat. Uh, and then let's go get some oak planks and linen thread. <laughs> We'll definitely have enough, which is good. Don't know about oak, but we might. We never did get that mailbox. I know that that's like a really old quest that we were supposed to do, get the mailbox. gonna take a minute. Alright. Oh god. These ones are different. Oh god. It's tricky. Whoops. It's clear I'm not a carpenter. we go. <laughs> this is hard, you guys. something. I think that was enough for the quest. Or 
before the upgrades or whatever. What's the Dauntless Dolphin? Oh, I'm so close to being able to afford it. I need more maple planks for that one. All right, well, let's do the Craftsman first. Iron Ingot Wolf. Okay, we don't have that yet. Uh, all we need is a maple plank, so let's grab that. Maybe we should go back to town and go to that merchant, too. Get some new seeds. I appreciate that these ones are easier. Slightly. We got the mailbox. Ooh, the icebreaker. We need a spirit flower. Some linen fabric, iron ingot. We don't have that yet. <laughs> Let's go see what that all did. You've got mail! Oh, what? We can make a windmill? An orchard? A nebula thread? What? Oh, shit, we can make this now. What? Okay. I don't like any of these placements very much. That would like feel really good, but it's like one off. Oh, uh, uh, that's like about the same actually. Maybe we'll just, I don't know. That's fine. Can we improve any of these? Oh, we can. We just need linen fabric to improve that. Okay. I like that you get multiple every time you do it. I think this would get really tedious if it was just one for one for one. Incredible, Stella. Wood, plants. There's even an all-natural room for meditation. You really outdid yourself. 
how well I'll sleep in that hanging bed. Yes, I'll be back to full health in no time at all. And maybe... Listen, I have a favor to ask of you. We just did you a favor. Uh, it's because it's become obvious to me that I need to take better care of myself. Uh, let the body listen to the mind. Well, yeah, that's good. To that end, I need clarity. I need power and energy. Positive minerals are what I'm missing right now. Stones and crystals are connected to the world on an elementary level. Just as the moon is dark when hidden from the sun, living beings wither when their telluric link is severed. So, Stella, what do you say? Could you bring me some gems and minerals to fill up my cabinet? Three of them should be enough. And it won't be for nothing, you'll see. I can teach all about... I can teach about all of the interesting properties of each one you bring me. Yeah, I think I have a couple that I can even just give. Is that a piece of citrine? Do you know that citrine promoted motivation and activated creativity? I've also heard that it encourages self-expression and enhances concentration. A true mind uh, revitalizes. Er, revi I can't speak. Can't speak. Revitalize. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I know revitalize. I can't say it. I just can't say it. That's fine. Would prefer something else. Uh, let's see. Do we have any interesting other... An opal. Oh, an opal, a sto uh, burning stone of passion and love, the stone of seduction, which resonates with burning desires and releases inhibition, uh, but stabilizes emotion as well. In other contexts, opal also brings about loyalty and faithfulness. Do we have one more that's interesting? Try one of these. Copper? I do not want that. Okay. I'm thinking pork chops. I know you want pork chops. Lots of coal. Can I put the strange seed in here? I sure can. I'll come back when I can actually see. Mailbox! I've got mail! Dear future customer, this is Madison at uh, Frido Fredorama. We are currently running a promotion. Our new delivery service stopped by Hummingbird to hear all about it. A sales rep is waiting for you. Hey. Okay. Letter from Albert. Stella, make sure you change your address uh, permanently. You'll have more letters coming in shortly. Make sure you keep up with your writing. Pen pals are the best pals. Everyone knows that. Apple seed. Too dark to navigate. Can't set it either. Sleep till the morning. Oh. 
You know what? I think I'm gonna get some coffee because we keep talking about coffee in this game. I'm gonna have a quick, quick BRB, um, and I'll be I'll be back with some some coffee, maybe a snack. See you guys in a few. All right, here we go. I got my coffee. 
present and accounted for. Very much better. Oh, much better. I should have refilled my water while I was. Ah, I've got coffee now. Who needs water when you've got coffee? All right. Where are we going next? Huh. I feel like our goal was to kind of come over this way. This is like where the game is taking me. But let's stop at some other places along the way. We'll grab some treasure. I still haven't quite figured out the setting like two destinations, but yeah, I'll work on that later. Let's fish a little. We got mail. Oh my god, it was so fast. What I really need to do is sort out what I'm having for dinner later. It's tough to reel in. A bay shrimp. Oh my god, so many so much mail. Protest flyer, workers unite. You're done being paid unfair wages. You're done being exploited for the benefits of the upper class. Say no to capitalist abuse. Rally to our cause at Bottom Line Corp. Union for Worker Dizen. Denny. Denizens. There we go. Denizens. I swear, streaming is getting me better at reading, but it is a painful process for everyone involved. Raccoon Ink Flyer. Uh, due to an unforeseen supply shortage at Bottom Line Corp Depot, Raccoon Inc. will no longer be able to apply our special rebate program for recurring customers. Please note that it is with great regret that we have to inform you of the situation. Rest assured, value customer of our continued efforts to improve it. Okay, well that's where we were going to go at some point. Bottom Line Corp. Is that on our map? It is. Maybe we'll go there next. I kind of want to. Let's water our mystery seeds. I'm so excited we have tea now! I should add, like, a channel point redemption, uh, for tea brewing advice. Like a quick recipe or something like that. That'd be fun. Although I don't know if it's even worth a channel point redemption, because I would gladly just give advice. <laughs> but I guess channel points are free anyways. Planks, I got your planks. Made some planks. Thanks. Anything I can dive for? God, I, I just realized how much larger our boat is. Oh, nothing to dive for on this one. What do you guys think? Should we go, uh... 
go help smash the capitalist agenda on the side quest. I think, how do we not, right? It's gonna be a bit of a hike, but we'll get there. I do like how spread out the content is. Like, I kind of stopped exploring where we were on the left side of the map because it felt very kind of like a linear progression. Uh, and I didn't want to, like, progress the game too much. I wanted to do some other kind of, like, side questy things. But it seems like there's just always stuff to do everywhere. And the time it takes to move around is never actually that long. I don't know I haven't obviously I haven't finished the game yet but having played it for about six hours at this point four four six hours um I very much I, it the pacing feels correct it doesn't feel like I'm rushing through anything and when I checked when my we started today we were at five percent completion I don't know if that's like if you intend to 100% the game, which I generally don't, or if it's just narrative progression. Ah, God. All right, we'll come back to this later. Also, I feel like we've stopped getting the progression bar when we're sailing places. I'm not sure why. But I guess we still have a ways to go, so I'll keep fishing. get this fish. Sometimes it changes red a lot faster than other times. Damn it! God! Shit! What is up with these fish? These are advanced fish! just to give me a freebie. Let's steep them together. We're making some tea. Heck yeah. I guess I'll just wait. It's so quick. Mushrooms. Sounds okay. It took me a while to to be cool with mushrooms. I didn't like them for a really long time. Now I've started cooking with them more. I'm still like kind of uneasy about it. Oh, there we go. There's the bar. I forgot. I must have clicked the uh, the bumper at some point. Yeah. 
Bottom line corp discovered. We're showing up to the protest, you guys. Ugh, my posture feels so bad right now. Ugh. An excellent salesperson always carries what the customer needs. So, my well-off patron, what can I do for you? We can't buy because of the... stuff going on. Mm -hmm. The time has come, my friends. Let's trample the thorns of inequity. Let's burn the tangling ropes of low-wage employment. Mm -hmm. Let's tear down the golden walls of the upper class. Your conditions here have been appalling. It's time for you to revolt. Haven't, didn't we see this guy on one of the islands? Mm -hmm. Let's show this capitalist pig that it's your work that creates wealth and value. Your work that promotes him, that makes him a profit. He is the one living off your backs. Let's break his knees mm -hmm. and more days off. Don't despair, my friends. Together we can reverse this unjust stream of enrichment. Together we can finally give power back to the working class. Power you deserve and wealth you should benefit from. I'm here for this, by the way. Time to claim what's rightfully yours, my friends. I want designer sunglasses, too! <laughs> oh. No mercy. Let's follow him home. I'm just here because I can take a longer break. <laughs> this guy in the back. Down with this fascist hog. Mm -hmm. Hello there. You've come to join our protest? Yes. Good, come on in. I have a little something to ask since you've just arrived. You'll find up there the CEO of this company. He's fled to his office and won't mm -hmm. come out. Coward. See if you can convince him to face his employees. Have an honest dialogue with them. We won't budge before their conditions have improved. Ha! Ah, we won't budge before their conditions have improved. Oh. Let's take the fight to him. These guys are these guys mean business. Sprout, look at that fuse box. The glass is all busted up. That's not up to code. If I were their union leader, be believe you me, I'd make that greedy boss eat his own shoes. Whoa. Can I not? Uh, I feel like... I don't know how that works. I just noticed his, uh silhouette there. Oh, well, that was a mistake. Anything down here? Oh, sorry, cat. Forget the cat's name. Remember it was Daffodil? Daffodil. It was a very cute name. I remembered that much. Dude, I can I can't wait for our next game. My friend Buck has been preparing a new game for us. I'm sure he'll talk I'm sure he'll talk to us soon. New recipe learned wonton soup.
old. Okay. Oh. What do you want? Get away from here. I've done nothing oh. wrong. I'm the one being threatened. As if three fewer days of vacation a year was a big problem for them. I mean, they should have thought twice before starting a family, right? Oh. <laughs> they were really hammering this home. This guy's the villain, huh? I'm not responsible for their poor life choices, nor for their lack of higher qualifications. And they should be happy I've not de delocalized the production. Oh. What will I have to do next? Pay them medical insurance, too? Why would I pay them if they don't work? It doesn't make a difference if they ha have a broken arm or a whooping cough. They still don't work when they're not here. Oh. I can't budge. Oh. What do we do? What? Mm -hmm. We won't move. Not without having negotiated. Oh. Delicious. I'm hankering for this. Oh. This place sure is a mess. How do we help, though? There's gotta be a way. What do you want? Oh. They just want to negotiate, you say? Look, it's getting hot in here. I'm getting hungry, oh. too. Okay, you can tell them I reversed my decision on the vacations. I'll wait for you here. That's a start. Mm -hmm. Nope, not enough. Plus 20% increase in wages and full compensation for medical expenses, as well as another week of vacation and 5% on capital gains. Some pretty legit asks, not gonna lie. I like this little side quest a lot. <laughs> but, but, darn, I've really gotta pee. Okay, okay, whatever they want. Just tell them they'll get whatever they want. But they have to stop calling me Mr. Moneybags, got it? Okay, now I gotta find the key to this door. agreed to everything you said? Wonderful. You're one hell of a negotiator, Munchkin. I like you already. Look, my work here is uh, thanks to you. I probably could embark with you on your fancy boat of yours. I can't wait to rest my bones in a cozy home and have you by my side, Munchkin. See you there. Ooh, what's it gonna be? What kind of critter? We got a new guy on the boat! Oh. Can you tell someone to unlock the door? I really need to pee. Hmm. Just love working. Anyone else around? Oh. Hooray! Hmm. Can't wait for our next game. We won! Gonna eat two steaks tonight. Looks like a lion or something. Thanks for settling those disputes. Theodore doesn't like being in the middle of it. I should have some stock shortly. Take that, you capitalist pig! Unions forever! Oh. 
stole the key from the boss's office yesterday. A protest leader thought it would teach him a lesson. I won't give it up oh. for nothing. Maybe a little bag of gleams. Let's say even a hundred. Up front. I do have a family to feed. Yeah, sure. Beautiful. Here it is. The code. I want to do something about that door. Oh. Alright, you're not going to tell me how to jump on this? Alright, let's go let the boss out. Uh, keep slouching. Gotta sit up. Getting too comfy. Oh. Thanks for unlocking the door. I was actually I actually just went in a corner there. Sorry oh. for the smell. Here's a little something for your troubles. Those damn protesters. I mean, workers. I had to get used to that. Thousand gleams. Oh. Thanks again. Looks like that's an elevator. Hmm. Looking to buy some thread. You're starving. Hold on. Will you eat this? Hmm. So, won't eat shellfish except for sometimes when shellfish is fine. Vacation. Is it important? Let's go greet our new friend. Mm -hmm. What have we waiting for? It took you long enough. Oh, it is a lion. I was wondering if it was a lion. Oh my god, woof, wait, what? Woof, that felt funny. You'd think that I would have seen everything at my age. Not sure I liked it though, but it sure beats being an impersonal hooded blob. These capes are really scratchy. Ah, it feels so good to breathe fresh air. Time for me to stretch my legs for a bit. I'm hungry as well, you know what? Would you be a deer and fix me a little meal? That'd be marvelous. Thank you, Munchkin. Okay, you can leave now. Well, it's a bit overcooked, isn't it? And kind of bland? Ah, never mind. That'll do. Thank you, Munchkin. You're a sweetheart. I've been out of the loop on that island. You tend to lose track when you fight for workers' rights. We should catch up on the latest gossip, don't you think? Oh, but don't get me wrong. I don't really like gossip. We need, but we need to stay informal. In case things happen. In case important things happen. I just know the right person. An old friend of mine has been roaming the seas. She could probably tell us what's been going on. Are you game for a little adventure? Well, it's not like you have a choice. She should be around. <laughs> I like the face there. <laughs> She's gained a bit of weight recently, but don't tell her that. She's always making a scene when someone mentions her appearance. Let's go meet her. Hurry up now. I still think it's a lion, even though it said woof. Look at those painted nails. Aww. Cute. Even more of that. Okay. Oh yeah, don't we have, like, recipes? How do we actually check our recipes? Recipes. Oh! And then you can just, like, click them to make them. Maybe. Maybe not.
rice flour and meat for wonton soup. Bay shrimp and mushrooms? It's probably just gonna be another soup, but... Also, did that mystery thing just give us carrots? Because that would be somewhat annoying. Hope it's not just carrots. God, there's so much stuff everywhere. I don't think we've been to this turtle yet. I think I've seen the turtle before. The turtle, like, looks familiar. I think I've seen it on someone else's stream. anything new in a while either. What do we get? Bisque. Okay. It's cool. It's at least a different soup. Quick! A lightning storm. Yeah, let's do it. That's the spirit. I think the lightning storm is like one of my favorite things in the game. In terms of like the mini game. I don't know. All the mini games are fun. This one I just really like the uh the music that's with it. Whoops. Poor cat. I have like too many levels that are all too close together. satisfying each time I know you want pork chops my dude We're, we'll get there Make the tiger shrimp and see what happens. Also, is there anything that I can prove on? Aluminum ingot. Goddamn. 
limestone. Fire glow. Missing the blueprint for those. This one we just need some maple logs. Is there anything else that we can just make? Marble, aluminum ingot. Maple and limestone. Okay. Request advanced. Three sisters. Turtle! Hi! Oh. Oh, this was where we were supposed to go. And I just saw it and I was like, oh, cool. She's here! Here we are. I'm happy to see her, Munchkin. She's always been a kind person, and we go way back, me and her. But I've got to tell you, last time we saw each other, things didn't go that well. She might still hold a bit of a grudge against me. It's not my fault if I say things as they are. No, it just makes you an asshole. You don't always make friends by being honest, and you might even lose a few. But we're old now. So, canoe under the bridge, as they say. Follow my lead. Perfect. Olga, you haven't changed one bit, old friend. Still so green. Astrid, my dear old Astrid, I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see that you're out of your old shell. Would you happen to owe this charming young lady here? You're the new spirit fair, aren't you? Albert was telling everyone that Charon had been replaced. Stella, isn't it? I think when he borrowed my hairbrush and never gave it back. Oh well. I hope this new job of yours doesn't weigh too heavily on your frail shoulders. You can count on me to give you a hand, my little lady. So tell me, Astrid, what brings you here? As you said, I'm back in the world. The first thing I want to do is pay you a little visit to, you know, catch up on things. How are you and your sisters doing? Oh, you know. Uh, Irina is focusing on her studies and Masha has picked up a new hobby. Nang! She says it keeps her stress levels low. She's not, uh, she's... Not that she's ever done anything really stressful, mind you, but she crafts little nice mitts for the winter. You should pay them a visit as well. Oh, and Astrid. Yes? You won't believe what I heard the other day. What? Miss Shrewsbury is pregnant. Again! What? Can't believe it. Yeah. And you know what? Bob is not the father. No, you're kidding me. Incredible. Well, she always knew how to lure them boys. And speaking of boys, I heard... Jivon, Giovanni is back and from a reliable mm -hmm. source that G Giovanni is back? Who told you that? Where? When? Well, if you're interested, I can go dig deeper, but are you interested? Yes. Huh? No. I, I, I don't care what he does. I don't want to know. He can frolic all he wants. As you wish. But you know what? I'll go check my sources. I'll write back to you just in case. Now that you're traveling in good company, I know where to find you. Sure, okay. But no rush. I'm happy Stella found me. I want to spend some time with her and her crew for now. Olga, dear, could you show her what you can do? I'm certain your help will be greatly appreciated. But of course. And on with the main attraction. Come here, little lady. I'm a very old being, but I'm not very wise. Uh, yes, a bit like Astrid. <laughs> what a burn. But there are some things I can do. Uh, my specialty is patience and spinach puffs, but we won't talk about that right now. If you look carefully, there are three uh, receptacles on my back. You plant logs, ores, rocks in them, and then you wait. And uh, you, you wait for me to come back to the surface, and when I'm back, the rocks or logs you used will have become trees or a mining rock. Isn't that nice? I can't tell you what my secret is, but I'll have you know one thing. It's normal if they smell like strawberries, okay? Hop on my back. Weird, but okay. What are we gonna plant? What do we need? I know we need limestone, actually.
Uh, we need maple logs too, don't we? Are you done? Yes. Wonderful. I'll go back underwater for some time. Don't worry. I'll reemerge as soon as what you planted can be harvested. In the meantime, take care of yourself and of your passengers. Bye now. See you soon. Mm -hmm. Happy you found me, Munchkin. I'm happy we've been able to help these poor souls in the factory. The workers deserve better, and the ruling class will never change. A bunch of swines mm -hmm. they are. They'll just pretend to be superior only because their wallets are full and their houses are big. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know not all rich people deserve to die, but I've never accepted how workers were treated, exploited, mm -hmm. diminished, just because of their birth. Mm -hmm. It's unfair and unjust. Mm -hmm. And I will fight for them until my last dying breath. Mm -hmm. What a bust! She had a lot to say, didn't she? Running her mouth like that. She's always been so chatty, this one, but I won't judge. Mm -hmm. Also, don't know if you've noticed, but her eyes are a bit scary. Soothing, kind, for sure, but scary. Mm -hmm. I think she should talk to someone about this. But enough about her. Mm -hmm. Thanks for having a lot... Thanks a lot for having brought me to her munchkin. It's really appreciated. Um, there is always so much going on right now, I can't get enough of it. Also, what she said about Giovanni's mm -hmm. character, well... You know what? Never mind. We'll have ample time to talk about this later. And I don't want to bore mm -hmm. you with this now. See you later, Stella. Want a snack? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I can't accept this. It's way too fancy for me. Mm -hmm. Didn't they complain about the fanciness of the meal that we gave them recently? Okay. Mm -hmm. Grilled veggies. You got it. Sandwich. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh. Oh, I got a bunch of weird stuff. Okay. I'm glad it wasn't just carrots. That would have been so lame. I thought it was empty and I was trying to plant something. Shrimp cocktail. Where to? There's a lot over here that we didn't really get to. Still don't know what this is. You know what? I want to know. Let's find out. Not in any rush. Wake up! Hurry, wake up! Who's yelling at me? Stella! Mm -hmm. Good, I see this shark didn't gorge you too much with his delirious prices. Uh, I know these people are always trying to scam you from your money. <laughs> I like this character. Don't you dare be weak in front of them. They'll smell mm -hmm. it a mile away. Like rabid dogs they are. Anyways, now that you've upgraded your blueprint table, I can see uh, you build. You can build a foundry. I could teach you a thing or two, mm -hmm. you know. I came from a long line of metal workers, and as much as I've learned about how to fight for workers' factories, I've learned how to operate such heavy machinery, mm -hmm. let me tell you. It's absolutely mm -hmm. fantastic. I'm sure it doesn't sound like it, but it's dirtier than you would expect. Mm -hmm. But the vibrations, the sounds, the heat... You know what? Be a deer and build one for us. Um, it will come in handy in your travels and I will have something to do with my hands. You got it. Mm 
Man, I still really want to build that. I'm surprised we didn't build a foundry. I thought, oh my god, where do you expect us to put this, though? Excuse me? What? Oh, what? What the? What? What's the? What is this garbage? No, how much progress did we lose? Oh, fuck. All right, hold on a moment. Okay. Uh. Wow, the game crashed. Wow. Fuck. I don't know if I've ever had that happen on my Switch before. Dang, all right. Man. What a darn shame. I hope we didn't lose too much progress. You were about to ask if I was winning. Welp. Yeah. Yeah, time to stab Nintendo. Yeah, I get, we'll see. Depends how much prog- uh, 13%. Alright, so I don't think we lost that much progress. Knock on wood. Move my desk. It's gonna be... Alright, we got most of our stuff. All right, no, I think we're fine. I don't think we lost any progress. We still have the cat. Yeah, I think we're all right. I think we're good to go. All right, that could have been worse. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. All right. But here's the question. How are we going to Tetris all this? Oh, that's right. That one has that weird... Oh, you know what would make me happy is if those fit together perfectly, but they definitely don't. That hurts a little bit. Um, I really want all of, like, the use things to be in the same, like, plane, you know? Get that out of the way. Maybe we put this here. Move this here. That's the guest house, so I don't really want that to be... Oh, whoops. Oh, I see. There we go. kitchen like so small definitely throws things off a little bit I don't know we could do something like this and then this is all a wonky shape Let's just... Uh, okay, what goes in the middle here? Will the guest house fit? It will. Okay, well there's that at least. Because then maybe we can just like put these over here. Put that like there and then this like... Oh, it's so close to being perfect, but it's not. Did we clear up enough space? We did. Just barely. Maybe we'll put this there. And then put the other house on the other side. I like that idea.
This feels weird. I don't know if I like it. I guess we're gonna have to move stuff around again at some point anyways, but I don't like it. This is an interesting, like, Tetris type of problem. What if we pull this out? I, like, don't even have enough space to, like, move everything around the way I want to, just to, like, try to Tetris it in a different way. Oh, but I can, like... Oh, there we go. Oh, not quite. What I want to do is put the guest house in the center. If I move this up. I'm just trying to get stuff out of the way. Well, what if I just... that. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, this is what I wanted to do. Oh, this excites me more. And we can bring this down. I, I'm into it. I think it, it's weird, but it works. I'm cool with it. This is gonna go over one more. It's fine. It's fine. I'm I'm gonna roll with it. Everything's moved around now. It's gonna take me a minute to get used to it, but whatever. I don't even know if I'm gonna like it. I definitely don't like that. That has to change. Mm -hmm. Nope. I have to lower that. When the dragon found me back home, I knew I had to leave. I felt like I wouldn't heal unless I left. I didn't know it then, but I needed love. And no one was found in this cursed place. But in my exile, I met your aunt. I had never seen anyone as joyful as Rose. Filled to the brim with uncontainable life. You remind me a lot of her, Stella. She nursed me back to health little by little. Without her, well, the dragon would have taken me. Right there, I'm sure of it and I would have never met you. She taught me, not as one normally teaches, but by opening my eyes to what was already written, to the rich interior life unsquashed by the dragon, unsquashed by my father, to the interconnectedness of all things, to the universal love. This Im immense debt I owe her, well, maybe that's why I feel the need to teach you. You want some food? Would you look at that? That's what I call a boundary. Do you feel that heat, Munchkin? Do you smell these fragrances of molten metals and heavy machinery? That's This is where the magic happens. We're gonna make some beautiful things in there. Let's go inside and I can explain how it works. What a machine. Oh my, Stella, this is the first class of foundry you've got here. I, even I myself couldn't have done better. Mm -hmm. Simply stunning. Let me run through, through the basics. This is a complex machine and you have to be careful mm -hmm. around it. First, you have to load ore in the furnace. Then you have to throw coal in the burner to power it. Glad we got extra coal. The machine will then reach its working temperature. Mm -hmm. Then whatever ore you've deposited into the furnace will be smelted into ingots. The bellows on each side of the furnace will make the heat go up. Each metal will behave differently, but once the right temperature is reached, the fusion starts. You'll have to make sure the temperature remains on the right level. Below it, the process simply stops, and above it, well, 
You don't want to see this happen, Munchkin. And that's it. I've told you all you need to know. Have at it. Uh... Put it all in, I guess. I don't think we need it for anything else. Great work. Mm -hmm. Oh, Stella, I wished all metal workers I've met were as gifted as you are. You look so small and weak, but you danced around Smelter like a veteran forge master. I'm so proud mm -hmm. of you. This is a splendid machine, and I'm sure you'll put it to uh, good use. Even I'll even indulge myself and use it from time to time if you're okay with that. Cool. Let's do the iron. straightforward. One of the more time-consuming minigames. Maybe it just feels time-consuming because you don't do as much. I guess I'll plant something while we're waiting. More tea, why not? Where to next? We could come back over this way. In fact, let's do it. Are you done already? That was fast. Let's put more limestone, actually. Another tree. I 
probably even do another maple log. Thanks, Mr. Turtle. Miss Turtle. Thanks, Turtle. You like only really basic stuff, right? Mm -hmm. My sister and I have been traveling the sea for ages. People of the ocean are in dire need of financial help. Did you know people have no savings? If you side with us, you're sure to earn more than your imagination can muster. We play the market of logs and ore. In no time, your investment will be doubled, even tripled. Just jump on my back. Invest in your sailing enterprise. Are you all done here? All right, I'll see you later then. Nope, nope, nope. Wrong button, wrong button. Up, up, up. Can I... will it not let me? Let's tell I drink too much coffee. Make a bunch of tea. Maybe it's, just, maybe it's just too early. I guess the stuff doesn't grow if it needs water, which makes sense. I thought it would just grow slower, but it definitely like stops. Good to be aware of. It says, it's your lucky day. How lucky you must be. I've got a new errand for you. Fresh off the presses. Have a look-see. Sure, I'll check the errands. Iron ingot and coal. Don't have any turnips. Still don't have any salmon. Uh, we do have this. couple odd seeds. so that the boat will start moving. There we go. And away we go. Guess we'll go get that tea. It's very oversteeped. some popcorn. It's good to have. Everybody likes it. Got a letter. From Olga Astrid. While the two of us caught up on the lace of gossip, I forgot to give you something. I found this while flipping through magazines and um, wanted, it made me think of you. It definitely fits your style and panache. Also, I heard a rumor your husband should be in Awasha Awash Awashima? Awashima countries, countryside. Might be worth checking out. I'll keep asking around just in case your old friend Olga. Glad they're still friends. 
All that popcorn. I like that the cat just follows us around. Doesn't doesn't do too much, but hangs out. A storm. Let's catch some lightning. Hell yeah. What's the spirit? I made this easier or harder for myself to try to catch everything by moving all the moving everything around. I think it's easier. I feel like I'm petting more of them. that he sings. It's so cute. Nob! Hello! Uh, I did sort of, yeah, I capitalized the A because anytime I go into a new channel um, and, and like introduce myself or whatever or just type in chat, uh, people assume that my name is Ray Lies, which like, it, I, I don't know, it's like, it doesn't bother me that much, but I was wondering if changing the A would make Ray Elise, like, have it be like a two word stand out a little bit more. I don't know. I thought I'd try it. Since you can, like, change the capitalization whenever you want, but you can't, like, change your name. Yeah, Ray Elise is the technical, technical way of saying it. It's, uh, it's because Elise is my middle name, and it's a, um, play on, not play on, but it's just a slightly different way of pronouncing Alice. Mm -hmm. What is it, Munchkin? A letter you say from Olga? Mm -hmm. That's so very mm -hmm. nice of her. Olga has news about Giovanni's whereabouts. Iwashima countryside, you say? Oh, okay. I should probably go take a look. And what? An inspiration for a house? For me? How thoughtful. Can't deny it. Olga knows me so well. And yes, indeed. I would uh, be very happy to have such a nice day, a den to live in. And it's always pleasant to know someone is thinking about you. I mean, you could have thought about this yourself, of course. But don't worry. I know you're very busy, Munchkin. Being the spirit fairer and all. It's okay. I won't be, uh, begrudge you. And I know you. You'll build this nice cabin aboard as soon as you can. Mm -hmm. You're so resourceful after all. Thanks a lot, Stella. Can't wait. You think it's more obvious? Yeah, I mean, I'm terrible with names, too. And and honestly, like, it's, it's not a super obvious name. Elise is, like, not super common with that spelling. It's way more common, like, E-L-I-S-E. -E. Um... So, like, if I cared a lot, I would actually just change the name. Um, I also feel like if you have a name that looks difficult to pronounce or is really easy to mispronounce and you get upset about it, that's, you, you, you know, it, you, you can't get upset about it if you picked it, right? Uh, if it was something very easy, that's one thing, but... Misgiving on it was the play on Realize. Yeah, exactly. That's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that's why it comes up so much. And like I said, it doesn't bother me or anything. If someone calls me realize or or, or whatever, it, it I don't get irked about it.
Yeah, no, it, to it makes total sense. I, I totally understand why, why people say it that way. But yeah, I don't know. I can't emphasize enough that it doesn't really bother me. I've fed you in a really long time. Oh no, but you don't need food, so not gonna bother. But yeah, I have wondered like about changing like my full branding to just like a whole new name. I really wanted to do reality. I thought that was really cool, uh, but it was taken. I was like, God damn it. Um. Was that everything here? Now we're just going to the next one. Um, or even something like totally different. But. I don't know, I'd be really nervous about giving up the name and then, like, wanting to switch back at some point, so I probably won't. You think about that from time to time, feel locked in? Yeah, exactly! It's like, uh... If you commit to something else, it's like a whole thing. Whoa, who are you? What? Hi! A traveler! Oh, I'm in the water. Ooh. Welcome to one of my famous bus stops. I found them. They're mine. All mine. My name is Alex. It's a beautiful name. The best name. But don't call me Alexander. Bleh. It's a garbage name. Garbage name for garbage people. Where was I? Oh, yes. I'm Alex. I'll be your bus driver. I wasn't always a bus driver. Before I was an accountant. Numbers were my shame. You ta <laughs> and taking you places is my game. Choo choo. No, wait. That's a train. This is a bus stop. I'm your driver. Want to go somewhere? Music? You don't like my music, really? You want me to stop my wonderful music? No. Do you? Does that mean? Ha! It was a prank. Good one. <laughs> I was wondering what that did. Travel? Oh, is this like a fast travel? Oh. Huh. Okay. Weird. Alright. I don't want to go anywhere. Let's go get some seeds. And then we'll go to this other, uh new place. But Nob, how have you been? How are you doing? I'm sad I haven't really been able to watch your streams that much. Like, I've been lurking a little bit, but I had two problems. One, my internet was trash. Second, my wor I've been so busy at work that I actually just can't watch streams. I just, like, have been working. Same old. There's some... There's some joy in consistency, right? Some pleasant, some pleasantries. Just thinking you need to mix it up. Anything in mind? You're far more into variety. Got it. It's- I feel like I've had too much variety lately. Like, even just getting back to streaming, I was just, like, itching to just sit down at my desk, like... And I just couldn't find the time to play games. Or I was just, like, too tired, or what- what have you.
need to get working again. Because you do streaming full time right now, right? I can imagine, imagine that has its perks and its disadvantages. Love the animations in this game. This game is lovely. Hold on. Let me let me get this cat over here. Ki come here, kitty. Oh, well, I rang the bell. Come here. Let's go up here, kitty cat. We can just, like, hug the cat. I love it. It's so cute. And you can, like, hug everybody. The animations are so nice. You know, when I accepted that promotion at Global, I genuinely thought I could succeed. And I almost did. If I weren't so... If it weren't for my sickness, I could have made a difference. When I moved upstate, I had to have my piano and my sewing machine transferred. So I just stayed thereafter to avoid the trouble. Everywhere I went, I ran into McMillan's. Chad always wanted me to get out uh, with him and his friends. But I just never happened to trust them. Mm. They're douchebags. Well, I don't use that word lightly. Give you a hug. Mm. Aw. Mm. Thank you. Mm. A little variety. I didn't realize I gave you that recently. Some bisque. Oh, I said you could open an, an upscale restaurant. Mm. Games with scratch animals get extra stars. Yeah, right? Like, just let me pet the dog. Oh, we got another... What is... What, is this a lunar eclipse? It's a lunar eclipse, right? Not a solar eclipse? Solar eclipse is when the sun blocks out the moon? No. No, it's the other way around. Right? I don't know. I'd have to Google it. Did, did we, like, arrive at our destination and I didn't notice? Don't think so. We seem to be not moving. Nebula fiber? Wait, what? What do you mean? I'm confused. Because I need nebula fiber for something specific. Uh, but I don't know how to harvest whatever resource they're talking about. Maybe it's too early. Maybe I can't do it yet. getting the idea though but hmm. I feel like I'm missing something it might just be too early to gather that resource but that doesn't usually the game is pretty good about not like Not letting me, like, skip things.
I'm gonna grab some water. I will be right back. It'll be a very quick BRB. Like, less than a minute. And we're back. Sorry, it took a minute. All right. Oh, I don't think I woke anybody up today. I just let the game run in the background because it was loading, but... I'm closer, don't be afraid. You're so pretty, Munchkin. You remind me so much of how I used to be when I was younger. Mm -hmm. I used to wear a red ribbon in my hair, just like in the magazines. Boys always noticed me, you know? I could have had Tony, the barber's son, mm -hmm. 
He was quite rich and had a red convertible. Or Al, the ski champion. Oh, Al, he had the nicest butt. Mm -hmm. I like this cat. This cat's my favorite. <laughs> but Giovanni, ah, oh, Giovanni. Mm -hmm. Whatever I did, whatever happened, he always made me smile. His eyes looked like shooting stars, his hair smelled like morning dew. But mm -hmm. enough of this, daydreaming won't get us nowhere. Let's do something productive. Aren't your crops in need of water? Are they? I hope not. I'm thinking. I know you want pork chops. I don't know how to get you pork chops yet. Is well, there anything better on this earth than a bowl of grain salad? It's my favorite! This will fill me up, unbridled joy. Thank you so much, my dear. Aw, that was really cute. I like that you that they each have like a favorite thing. Stella, remember you can use a blueprint to invent uh, improve any building. All right, all right. Thanks for getting me back on track. What are we working on? What do we got to improve? Can't do that. Can't do that. Oh, we can do this one. Can't do that one. Can do that one. Not that one. All right. Wow, fully upgraded home. The house looks so much better. As if nothing had been designed, as if everything had been designed with my happiness in mind. The textures, the tones, the coziness, it's perfect. Look at you listening to me and for building such a nice cabin. I won't forget this. Wait, why did your happiness go down? Hmm. Got some fiber I bought. Use it to weave something. I can give it to you now. Do you want it? No, it's okay. Keep it for your weaving. Be a deer. You know what would be nice? Something to eat. <laughs> you can't eat anything fancy, right? Regular fine dining, regular salad. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Munchkin. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, have we arrived somewhere and I wasn't paying attention? Everybody was talking to me. Oh, this is pretty. Is this a Japanese game? Japanese made game, does anybody know? the uh the lights only light up after you've like been there got him 
thinking I'm supposed to train that guy over there. I really don't feel like it. Been really tired over the past week or so. Can't sleep at night. Let's just hope he gets the hang of the job without my help. Hmm. It's my first day on the job. I have no idea what I'm doing. No one is training me. This place is falling apart. There we go. What's going on here? Oh, there we go. Oh, there it is. What's up, kitty cat? Man, I'm looking forward to getting, like, triple dump or wall jump or something. some more nice okay all right you got it together Gregory this is your day today is all about digging any problems you have leave it at the door this is a new day big breath oh I didn't know that this game had secret paths like this that I can't do anything with yet. I can't interact with it. I hope that I actually can't interact with it and I'm not just like missing something because that would stink. Oh. My manager really stressed me out. He told me to be quiet today. I shouldn't even be talking to you. When you don't see the sun, you can imagine it's always noon. That's what my boss says at meetings. All this ore is nice. Now I like want to check all the walls. I don't know if I like that, because there's no indication about where those secret paths are that I could tell. Management is coming today. Better go make a good impression. I've been practicing my business face all day, and hopefully they'll notice me in all this dark. Uh, from this mine to the boardroom. Moving on up. There we go. See any other paths that I could really take? Hard to tell which way I came from. Was that everything? I mean, I guess so. We'll have to come back here anyways, because we can't do those, uh those fans. Oh, that's a mushroom, though. I want the mushroom. Alright, we're going back. We're going back. Alright. Oh, we got... Stella! 
Look, Stella, I, I'm sorry. I think I need some space. Just a bit of time to myself. I knew going back to the villa was a bad idea. Sorry, this doesn't have anything to do with you. You've been nothing but great since you found me on that island. I just need to be alone for a while. Alright, I'm gonna leave him be. I think this is a good place to stop for today. I uh, want to get some food. And... Yeah, I'm quite, quite peckish. But... Thanks all for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks to anybody who was lurking. Let's see who's online, see who we can give a raid.